Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can reset your Apple ID. And when I say reset, I mean change your email address for it, your, your username, as well as do some management stuff with it. So if you've been looking around and trying to figure out how to change up your Apple ID, whether you want to change it to a different email address or what, you may have noticed that it's not the easiest to figure out and to find how to do it. But there is this web page that Apple has up that lets you do it. So here's the website. Now it's kind of a weird URL, so I'll have it right below the video so you can get to it. Uh, but also if you log into your iCloud account and you go up to the settings and you click on your Apple ID here, you can get to it as well. So that's an option as well. Now from here, what you're going to want to do is hit manage your account. Now, if you wanted to reset your password, you could also do that from here. That's another tip. So from here, I could change my password and security settings if I wanted to. I could change my addresses, phone numbers, and language and contact preferences. And this is where you can do everything that you want to do with your Apple ID. And a lot of people, after they set it up, maybe they want to change around information and they don't know how to do it and where to go. This is the website where you can do it all. So now if you want to change your username your, for your Apple ID, which is your email address, and you can go right here and you can actually change your primary email address. So if I want to change it from here, I could just put in a different email address and I can set that as my new Apple ID. Now there's some restrictions to this. I found that certain email addresses, uh, especially dealing with me.com email addresses, that's kind of fussy with what it'll allow for some reason. Uh, but generally, unless you've used it for a different Apple ID, it should work. And also from here, you can add alternate email addresses. So let's say that you can't get the email address you want as your main one. You can still use it as an alternate, and you can still sign into your Apple ID using the alternate email address. And all you have to do is check your email and verify it. There will be a verification email, and you can use your Apple ID with a different email address that's an alternate one. Uh, it doesn't have to be your primary one. So let's say you have your Apple ID and you don't want everybody to know your Apple ID, but you still want to use Apple ID with iMessage on an iPad and an iPod Touch, let's say. You can add an alternate email address and you can give people that alternate email address and you can use that for something like iMessage and it'll work just like your regular Apple ID would and you don't have to give that out. So it's a handy feature that way. Well, and at any time, if you decide you want to get rid of that alternate email address, you can just delete it, and then people no longer will have that. So it's a kind of a security feature in that as well, and it's very handy, and you can manage a whole bunch of different stuff with your Apple ID here. So there you go. That's a pretty simple tip, uh, but it's an easy way that you can go in and make changes to your Apple ID. It's a thing that a lot of people don't really realize how to do, and that is actually possible. And once again, I'll have the URL below the video so you can access it from there. Or once again, you can find it if you look in the settings in your iCloud account. So if there's anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.